Arr! Ahoy, me mateys! Shiver me timbers! Grab up your spyglass and scan the horizon, for there be more than Lego pirates on these here seas. Aye, it be true, me mateys. There be other brands of pirates as well. This here be the Zix TV that you're watching, and I be the Zix. Arr. These here pirate sets be having a fair share of pieces, a fine stash of pirate loot for the paltry sum of twenty doubloons. Uh, dollar. Twenty dollars, me mateys. Alrighty, pick this up. Uh, pick this up as a group. Last year, uh, it was listed on Amazon as uh, five sets by a company called Wange. I might have to show that. Uh, or is it Wan G? I'll have to show that. Uh, um, close up have a closer look at it uh, these are two of our instruction books if you could call it such had these uh, sh shipped over from uh, shipped over to America from uh, China and it was 20 bucks for uh, five boxes, they did not come with boxes. Uh, they came in uh, a whole bunch of little baggies in an e-packet envelope. Uh, so uh, it was it was it was five sets for for twenty dollars. That's a pretty good deal. And we get all these pirate characters. Uh, it came with an extra set, so there's actually six uh, Wange sets here. Um, there's uh, there's two large size ones, and then a whole bunch of small little dippy ones that, that build these little rafts and stuff. So we're gonna have a look at all this and have a look at all the minifigures. Let's have a look at our instruction sheets first so that we can uh, uh, find out what's what's going on here. And I'm going to go to the close-up view for that. Here is one of our box covers for one of these sets. Mm, Wange, or is it Wan G? There it is in the corner. Pirate's Paradise. This is one of the sets. So... Uh, we get two characters in this one, and then here is another one, Wange, Pirate's Paradise, and we get two characters, looks like the same two characters, and then we have all these dippy little sets, let's see, Pirate's Raid me made. With the pirate captain, Arr. and then uh, this little set with the pirate, pirate's raid, a little cart with guns on it, and this one here, pirate's raid, and this one here with this guy. Wage. So let's have a look at one of our sets here. Uh, let's set aside the the dippy little ones for for later and focus on the uh, the big ones. We got uh, whoa this one here with our pirate captain. Me mateys. We're gonna have a closer look at the minifigures and all the stuff. Uh, we get to build this uh, this dippy looking little shack here with a uh, pirate flag for a pirate captain there.
fair number of pieces go into this and we have a treasure box in the back and then we get this boat with uh, I guess he's one of our soldiers he's wearing a top hat okay he's running the, uh, the flag there and he's attacking the the pirate captain he's attacking our pirate captain and he gets this boat and there's a there's a rifle in there so let's have a look at our pirate loot we made here's the back we build up this uh, these columns here and there's our platform at the top with our pirate captain and his flag it was kind of fun kind of dippy looks like it's already taken some cannon shots here and there looks like it's already seen a lot of wear and tear uh, looks like the type of thing you'd build for your military guys out in the field with uh, holes in the walls and stuff uh, and uh, a building that's it's already run down and holes in the walls now let's have a look at the treasure box here's our it's it's kind of small not as big as as the uh, uh, the Slubin pirate treasure boxes and we get all these jewels a whole bunch of them and I think these are direct knockoffs of uh, the Lego jewels it certainly looks like it to me it's got that kind of flattened top there We get uh, quite a few jewel, quite a few jewels, jewels to be our uh, treasure. Nice that they included treasure, some kind of treasure with with the set. Ah, now there be a fine pirate captain if ever there were one. You check him out, me mates. Check this guy out. Oh, he's got the pirate scowl. He's He's angry, or he's fighting for his life, and he's got a little, little brown pistol there, and he's got a, a cutlass. Pirate captain, and he's got the company logo on his back. Wange, or is it Wanji? It's a Chinese brand. There's our pirate captain. And he's got the, uh, some, some of these minifigures have a different style. So he, he's got a rounded, pretty, pretty well rounded head there. It's kind of blockish. Just want to note that for later on in the review when we're going to be looking at other minifigures. And I guess this is our soldier. He was holding the oars. There's that guy. Not sure what his deal is. And he's got the company logo on his back too. And this this weird part back here. I haven't tried to sit any of these guys down. They're going to be standing up, moving around a lot most of the time. And here is some of our pirate treasure. It does look like uh, like a Lego jewel. We get uh, quite a few. Quite a few of these to be our treasure. In the treasure box, we made these. Oh. Oh, they all went flying. Alright, let's put our jewels in there. There's, there's this red one back here. 
and some pretty blue ones. So that's that's pretty cool that we we actually get some treasure and this this lid that fits on top of there pretty tight. Similar to the uh, the Slubin Pirates, but not quite as big. Got some studs on the top. That's pretty cool. Nice little design to this treasure box here. So that is that little set there with our uh, soldier guy in the top hat attacking our pirate captain. And we get another one that's very much like it. Got uh, this set here. And uh, our soldier's got a cannon on wheels there. And this is a direct stand up do uh, knock off of the Lego shooting cannon you pull back and you shoot these little tubes he's got a not quite a fire it's a uh, it's an opaque color the opaque red uh, would have been nice to see some transparent red so there is his little uh, cannon that he's going to operate and attack again our pirate captain we made in this rickety structure it was kind of fun it, it looks pretty run down again it looks like a a, a battlefield uh, building out, out in the battlefield for your military guys it's got holes punched in, in, in the side looks looks like it's seen better days and we get a treasure chest for these guys in this little set here there's the interior and we got these uh, these cool doors although they don't quite meet up in, in the uh, in the middle there we got these saloon doors and the rooftop where our pirate captain is is hanging out so there's that set and here is our pirate captain once again with a uh, with a rifle there and they give him a pickaxe for some reason uh, very similar to the the uh, the other pirate captain let me grab him for a moment slightly different design the arms are next to the body whereas this guy's arms go out away from his body and he has a block head that's a, that's a block head so he's, he's a bit different in this particular pirate set the uh, minifigure style and this style does not have the wange written on the back like our other ones we made so we got another brand that has can't make up their minds it's two different styles of uh, minifigures Two different, uh, two different styles of of minifigures. Same overall idea, and even the print on his face is a bit different. This guy isn't quite as angry looking. Still got the eye patch and the, the beard there. Okay, so this guy goes with the, the set in the background there. I'm going to keep all my minifigures. And I'm going to keep all my minifigures straight. And here is our soldier guy in this set. And he gets the, the flame that isn't translucent. And he too is a blockhead. There are 
are those minifigures and our pirate loot which I believe same jewels as in the other set we get the pretty light blue ones and the red ones I'm not gonna pour them out this time it's the same pirate loot as we get in the other set I might end up accidentally pouring them out if I spill oh I didn't do it okay we got this uh, pirate treasure chest so those are the two pretty big size sets the rest are these dippy little ones uh, that have a handful of pieces we have a, a pirate we got a pirate here me mateys with a simple little little build with some with some rifles on it and the pirate flag there all these 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 pieces here are uh, printed I did not have to put a sticker on there I'll have a closer look at this guy in a moment there's a little and then we got this little raft I, th I think he would be a soldier he's got a rifle yeah he's flying the soldier's flag so he's a soldier and I guess that's some kind of lamp not sure simple little raft build built sideways with a a bracket for him to stand on and such and then we got a pirate captain again with uh, with his pretty decently sized raft here and a big uh, catapult and you put this this round thing in the catapult and he's got one of those transparent things for a a lamp or some kind of thing and he's got the pirate flag there and finally we got a soldier with a cannon and I don't know what happened here but his does his flag does not have the uh, the print on it with, with the soldiers emblem we got another cannon that's uh, a direct ripoff of the, the the Lego pirate cannon and there's that guy there's this pirate he's pretty cool he's got the pirate do-rag and this is the style with the the rounded head there's that guy he was pushing the cart with the with the rifles on it and we got this guy he's a soldier with, with a rifle he's got a plume in his in his tricorn and he is the rounded style of head and then we got another pirate captain me mate and he's got the rounded style of the head probably the same as as the uh, the one back there and here is our soldier and he has he looks like he has a blockhead so we get a mixture of minifigure styles amongst all these different sets here all set and built the Wange Pirates are not very impressive. They got these dilapidated little shacks in the background, um, brick built rafts, but th it was it was fun for for twenty dollars. It, it, it's a fun little collection, and uh, I appreciate uh, whoever made the the collection available of these these little sets to to be shipped over over from China so so that I can enjoy them. We get uh, a few too many pirate captains and of the same soldier. Uh, 
but we I, I, I was I did like getting the uh, the, uh, the the pirate dude and the uh, the other type of soldier so there is a bit of variety and we get we actually get some treasure it's uh, Lego jewels but uh, still uh, pretty cool so um, I think this is a pretty good collection of, of, of uh, pirate stuff we, we just get uh, lots of pirate captains but uh, that might just be the way that the sets have been designed the sets that they came in you get this little raft with a pirate captain and the other individual sets that have pirate captains uh, cool minifigures the, the pirate captains and the pirates um, not as fond of the uh, this guy here with his top hat not as fond of that guy but uh, eh, pretty good on the whole so uh, that's something I picked up last year for, for $20 that it shipped over from China it's, it was fun to put together um, the 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 grabbing power of the blocks is really good. It's better than Lego for these these little uh, dilapidated shacks here. Um, the instructions were easy enough to follow. Uh, the plastic quality appears to be uh, ABS style, pretty good. Uh, so just a note about that. And the grabbing power of the the pieces. Lego style pieces is good so um, looks to be uh, I, I think I think they grab on tighter than than Legos do so it'll take a bit more effort to to get them on there and uh, more effort to uh, pull them off and that is my review of this uh, this uh, Wange pirate collection Wange me mateys, pirates raid, and pirates paradise me mateys. Thank you for watching. Arr.